All right, y'all, we back and we live. Um, so, let's see here. We got a few people on. So, yeah, let's get it popping. Like, uh, everybody that's on this call, um, you know, what level? What level are you? You can type it in. I can see all the messages typed in and everything. Like, what level are you at? Intermediate, you can even unmute yourself right now if you wanted to. But is everybody, like, intermediate to advanced or we got beginners on this call we're beginners from um the portsmouth virginia area um carl and angela wilkins got you what team you on um with latasha uh wilson ah oh yeah 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 i did some training for her with some of the people in detroit okay cool yeah yes yeah, good people awesome i'm ready to learn yeah, and uh, somebody said, haven't even started yet. Oh, man. Well, what you waiting for? What you waiting for? Hopefully, after um, after this call, I will be able to help you understand what we're doing so you can get started. You know what I mean? Get to the person that invited you to this call so you can start making money because this is real money. Like, we actually making money out here, and we got it. And let me tell you all before we start real quick. Um, people that trade stocks look at us like we're crazy. Um, I talked to some people and they're like, yo, you trade Forex? What? Like, that's, that's fast paced. Like, that's crazy. And I'm like, okay, it, it might be though. It might be right because stocks is a little bit slower, but they don't, they can't, they can't enter a trade and get out of a trade at will they have to be in the trade for like a week until somebody sell it or whatever you know what i mean you, you basically stuck so forex if we don't like the trade we're in we can close it but they don't understand how the markets move and and we got it you know we team take profits like we got it we ain't the only team that got it but we got it yeah i'm only up 200 pips today 200 pips oh my goodness Wait, that must be bitcoin that must be Bitcoin because ain't no Forex chart moved that fast and it just opened. Yeah, uh, well, Bitcoin moved uh, 110 pips in a matter of uh, a minute and a half earlier. Exactly. So it had to have been Bitcoin, not Forex. I, I was actually in that Bitcoin too, and I caught a lot. Well, I ain't going to say a lot of money, but a decent amount of money in Bitcoin today. Yes, sir. Um, so, so anyways, we're trading Forex, y'all. And we un we're learning how to trade to them, as they say, the hardest market. And it's like becoming easy to us. And I noticed that once you learn how to trade this Forex market, all the other markets become easy because Forex is the king of it all. When the stock market fell, we when it, it was I got a friend of mine that said, Did you the stock market crash? Did you make any money off of it? Because you know I trade Forex. See, we don't say, did the Forex market fail? Go to a stock market guy. Did you make money off of the Forex market? No, it don't work that way. It don't work that way. Everything moves from the Forex market. So if you learn this, you good. You in, you in a real good uh, position. So that being said, let's jump into some Forex charts. And uh, what, how it's going to go is we don't really, uh, once we start, everybody get muted up, please. And... You guys can't really interrupt because we're just going over a live uh, a Forex overview of the market. And if you got questions, type it in or get back with the people that got uh, brought you in. If you got questions, screenshot something that you don't know and ask the person that brought you in because we're just going to be going and going and send out screenshots and get you ready, get you right and ready for the week to come. So that's that's how this uh, these calls go. Not really too much training and it's breaking down simple stuff. So, uh, let's go. So I'm sharing my screen. Hopefully you guys can see my screen. Everybody, please, when you, if you get on, if you're not muted, please mute. I'm going to say mute all. Okay. Cool. I got everybody muted. All right. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can see my screen now. Um, I'm going to be go, going over EURUSD. I'm going to be going over GBP, USD, and then you got uh, Greg, 
one of my team members, uh, trainers, top trainers of Team Take Profits, he'll be going over two pairs. And if you guys got a pair that, that's in mind that you want me to go over, please type it in the comments now. Let's get it. So we looking at EURUSD. The first thing I always do is go to the daily. What is, why do I go to the daily? Because it shows you the overall trend. I want the whole story. I don't want... I don't want just a chapter. I don't want just a 30 minute. That's just one chapter of the book. I want, I want to read the whole book. So I go to the daily. First thing I do. And I see, what is this? A downward trend. So we're in a downward trend. Um, so let me just, I'm marking this up like live, like how I would really do it. I'll pull that trend line out. Boom. Oh, snap. We just, we just, um, we basically just broke that trend line and we going up. Also, check this out. You see that parabolic SAR dot coming down, coming down. Boom, that boy switched. That boy switched. So we looking at going up. I don't know for how long, how long we're going to be going up. But um, hmm, let's look at market structure. So if you watch IML Academy bases one through four, you should understand market structure. I would say we're at right here. It kind of dipped right here. You can see, you can see at this level, candles wick out. So it possibly could wick out. I don't know if it is. So this is why we have to watch. That's enough for the daily, though. I'm not going any further than this on the daily. Um, but I definitely have to mark my chart up, though. Let me see. Um, what where's price at? 18. Price stopped at what? 18. Let me go to 1800. Let me see. Where's, why am I coordinating? Format. I want to go to my coordinates. How you type in the numbers? Ah, why won't let me? You should just be able to double click it. Yeah, it's not working. I think I got to refresh. Let me refresh. Go to my coordinates. There you go. See, refresh. Works every time. So hey, let's go to 1800. All right. Cool. 1800. All right. Price didn't get that, get, didn't get uh, really down there to the 1800 to a dollar and 18. So let's go to the next one. 18. Let's see. 18. Uh, 25. Boom. Okay. Let's go with. 18 a dollar 18 and 75 okay so that's where that's where price respected so now we got where price is okay so now we're seeing it you see how I'm, how I'm getting this boy right I'm seeing these moves happen so a dollar 1825 respected boom blue pass a 1875 okay so where's this one? Where is this one at? That's 19, 1975. 1975. Okay, we on to something. Boom. So I think I think definitely we getting a nineteen a dollar nineteen seventy five. We definitely getting up there. Okay. So if I'm gonna tell you to buy something, to buy Euro, Euro USD, we definitely getting up there, and it's the daily. So. Let's see what's the next what's the next major dollar 75 let's go with a dollar no 19 uh dollar 20 okay dollar 20 what dollar 20 look like on market structure hmm i definitely like that dollar we definitely going to 19 uh 75 we might go to two a dollar twenty. We might, because I'm thinking that price will come up here and wick out again. All right, that's for the daily. So that's my markup for the daily. I'm definitely gonna mark, uh, keep my little uh, large quarters there. So, hey Jay, there's uh, several people that say they can't get in. It's popping up through Discord. Um, I need somebody else on the team to handle that. I can't bounce to that. 
I can't, I can't bounce to that. You feel me? Somebody on the squad got to handle that. So, um, and we blew past the dot. When we blow past that, um, that, that parabolic SAR dot and it flipped, we, we going up. We going up. I just don't know how long. All right, but I definitely know we're going to hit that. We might even hit that 1975 on this call. All right, and I'm thinking um, $1.22. All right, but we have to watch. Let's drop down to the four hour and let's mark this baby up. So, hmm. Let's play around. Let's let's put this boy out. What I do is pull out a line. And this is not nothing premeditated, y'all. This is real. This is real life, like real live right now. All right, price coming up here. I'm seeing what becomes a, a floor becomes a ceiling. That's what I'm looking for right now. Market structure dipping down. I will say on a four-hour chart. If price, let me let me draw this up for y'all, and then I'm gonna send out the screenshot. So if price, basically, we're looking at coming up here to here, and possibly, because we we can't we don't we can't predict the market, like we can't do that. So that's impossible. So we gotta we gotta trap it, and it could come down here, or it could just break through. And come, I would say right here though. I would just start now. We can we can come all the way up, but I mean we can't guarantee that because I'm thinking like it could come up here to where this is right here. So we just have to be ready now. If you get in on this buy and, it, and it's looking right for you according to your indicators, get into the buy. You got to trail that stop loss. Like you got to move that. If it go higher, you got to move the stop loss with it. If you get stopped out and it turn back around, get back in on the buy. And I'm gonna say right up here. All right, now this ain't gonna happen overnight, y'all. This is this is a weekly markup, a weekly markup. So this is this this whole move would take the week. So I'm gonna make these black, so y'all can see this, and y'all can y'all can screenshot this joint, have it. I'm gonna put it in the uh, and I'm gonna watch this, and I'm not gonna move this. So next week, Wednesday throughout the week, I post it on Facebook, and and we'll see how it went. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to cheat y'all. I'm going to keep it just like this, and we'll see how this boy played out. Let's go. So I'm going to – um, what I'm going to do is – how you screenshot this boy right here? I'm not no long-term trader, so you're not getting no 1,000 pips out of me. You know what I'm saying? Let, before, I, before I do it, like, basically, on this whole, tra on this whole trade – I would have, if I got in at the top, I would have rolled it, rolled it down, moved the stop loss, moved the stop loss. Soon as I thought it was pulling back on me, I would have got out. But this is, this look beautiful. If you caught this, this is beautiful. Then you don't even really got to get out of this. But if you was to get out, I would have got back on it. Guy would have got out on this pullback, saw that that boy was coming back down, parabolic SCR dots back at the top, and I would have got back in on the sale. And I would have, I would have pieced it. You see what I'm saying? I don't really ride these trades all the way down here nonstop like some people do. That's just not my style. I'm more comfortable with getting pieces of it, looking for the sale, pull back. I'm getting out. I'm taking my money because even though it pulled back here and we see it, we see this thing pull back. We don't know if it wasn't if it was gonna pull back all the way back up here. So I would have moved down, moved my stop loss, moved my stop loss, and probably got stopped out. Got back in the sale. You feel me? Because look at this. Let me show you something. It looks easy now, right? It looks easy now, but what if I did this? What if I did this? Boom. Let me see. I'm going to do a replay. Tap it there. Man, why the replay ain't working? Man, nothing working. There you go. And then play it out right here. Right here. All right, look at this. So this is where the market was. This is what it did. 
Okay, you good. Everything looking down. Not much drawdown at all, right? Look at this big old wick. When that when that boy was down here red and pulled back up on me, I probably would have got out. Like, I probably would have got out. I was like, no, nah, you ain't taking all my money away. Like, I'm getting out. I get back in on a sale. You know what I'm saying? When it, when, it keep, when it continues to drop again, I get back in on that sale. But I'm not finna just let you just come all the way back up and possibly go high. Like, you, like I done that, and that happened to me like 10 times. Like, no, 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 not no more. You know what I'm saying? So it, as it was down here and started to pull all the way back up on me, you don't know if it's that it was going to stop here. This thing could have pulled all the way back up and went into reversed. So you ain't getting me. I'm taking my money. Now, look at this. You see how it's looking? Let's play it out. And I'm going to go fast. Okay, play the trade out. Boom. Okay, you in a cell. You in a cell. Come on now. You see that big long candle right there? So you mean to tell me you're going to stay in a cell? Now, you could stay in a cell because you you so far up if you got in up here and you moving your stop loss. But, like, like this thing looked like this thing about to turn around like how it did over here. So I would have took profit. And then let the trade play out. Still in that trend line. It didn't bust the trend line. Boom, another candle came down. Okay, boom. I probably would have got back in the, on the sale because it didn't break the trend line. That's how I would have played this trade out. So that was that was my whole purpose of doing that, to show you how I would have did this, how I, how I personally trade. So let's put it all back. So there we go. Let me screenshot this before I forget, and then I'm moving on. Uh, we got a question. This is a good time to answer a question. Marking up the QPs, talked about, I see, I see JBs, Andrew. Okay, ain't nobody talking about none. All right, so um, let me give y'all a screenshot. So yeah, I'm like a, a intraday trader. I don't be keeping my trades over the week or nothing like that. Save image. So what what you do is you take this markup that I'm finna send you. And you keep and you put this on your phone and you and you save it to your downloads to your pictures. And then you can put the same lines at where the numbers are on your MetaTrader 4 and just watch it. That's how you can uh, do this. So when the top dogs that I that I used to follow or that I still follow when they mark up a chart, um, that's what I would do. I would take their, their uh, numbers and put it on my phone. And let me, um, I'm putting the, the link in the uh, chat right now. You can download it. Boom, it's in there. All right, my next one, my next pair that I'm looking at is GU. So I've been, I've been killing GU, man. Like, I'm, I'm trying to be known as the GU sniper. And, uh, man, I call out, I called out these buys all last week. I called out, like, two of these, two of these buys. This one. And this one. I got in on this buy, pulled back on me, caught the sale. Now, check this out. So, you see, it basically look like EU. Basically, you pull out this trend line. Uh, let's, we're on the four hours. So, boom. Got that trend line popping off. It's the first thing you do. Then this is just the basics. We ain't doing no indicator stuff right now. Um, basically consolidating, right? Wouldn't you call this consolidation? So we'll mark that up. And look at this. I got this support and resistance line. I've been having here this for weeks. That's how I caught that buy and that sale and caught the buy again because I, I knew that this was support and resistance because look at this. Look how price come up here and wick out come up here wick out drop basically it was resistance this was like a ceiling if you want to call it that and then finally finally price broke above the resistance line and became a floor so what was a ceiling over here broke through it and made a floor and kept and couldn't break through it again is that's that's simple like like your kid can understand that so once I identified that, I'm like, yo, like this is an important support and resistance zone because it respected up here and it finally broke through. It ain't going to respect it forever. Finally broke through 
and now it's respected now. Boom, we got a zone. So I marked it up. Okay, price finally came back down to this demand zone and it's respected. Just like how I did before. It may break through. I'm waiting to see. But for now, that boy is just sitting up in here and I've just been catching this consolidation because I trade from the 30 minute. I mark up on a four hour and I trade and, and, and put my trades in on a 15 and 30 minute. Now look what I got. I got, my, I got my major half quarter points, my large quarter points. So, you see what I'm saying? Prices are huh? Oh, we got a mute. Somebody had a question? So, <clears throat> all right, so let's mark this boy up so I can send this to y'all. Now, you see what happened when price hit this level and it, and it bounced up? This could happen. Like, I'm hoping, I'm hoping so bad that this boy do the same thing again. Come Because it just, because they haven't touched this level in so long. So I'm hoping that, hey, from here, this thing finna go back up, at least to this, to this quarter point, uh, $1.37, uh, 50 so at least come up here. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm hoping. But, I mean, you never know because price could do this. So we got it coming up. Come right up in this zone and then just keep consolidating. So if it does, it doesn't matter to me because I'm just going to keep buying and selling within this uh, zone. And you know why? Let me show you why it's so easy for me to uh, buy and sell within the zone. Let me show you why. Let me go... Let me go to the 30 minute. Watch this. So on a four hour, it didn't look like much was happening, right? But look what's happening on a 30 minute though. This is how I make my money. This is how I'm making thousand a week, $600 a day, you know, here and there or whatever. Not all the time, but look at that. That's 84 pips. It didn't look like much on a four hour, but if you got your zones marked up, you can catch this. And when wintertime come in November and the holidays come around, this is how we got to trade because it ain't going to be no large thousand pit moves. It's going to be consolidation and the consolidation going to get tighter and tighter and tighter. And you got to know how to catch these moves. So definitely get to learning, but look at all this. I mean, this is consolidating, consolidating real large uh, zones, but you can catch these. That's why I don't be riding trades. That's why I ain't worrying about riding trades a thousand pips because I'm I can easily catch these in between. Um, anyways, um, so we at thirty five hundred. Let's mark up. Let's go to the. Um, this is how I like to do it. Let me put my. Let me make this boy black, and let me make that boy a little bit thinner, and dot it like that. Okay, so we went to 3,500. Let's go to 3,500. Let's go to 3,525. Boom. Look at that. 3,525. See, it's not a coincidence that price come up and, and, and look how it bounced it right on 3,525. $1.3525. So if you see this and you see it wicking out and sitting at that level, so it's building a floor so it can support it and bounce up. That's how I caught the buys all last week. Now let's go to the next one. Now this is this whole this whole putting at this dollar twenty five dollar seventy five stuff. This is a theory. This is all a theory. But let's put it at a dollar fifty. Uh, I mean a dollar thirty five fifty. I can't be sharing y'all all my secrets, man. But I love y'all, so. Um, 25.50. Okay, price set around a 50 up in this zone. Um, let's go, let's go to, it blew past the 50. Let's go to 75. Boom, price respected at 75. Uh, ceiling, ceiling, came up here, hit that little seventy-five dollar uh, uh, thirty-five seventy-five, and dropped. 
hit it again and dropped, broke past it, you know what I'm saying, came back down, hit it again and dropped, so forth, so forth. And then what's the next level after 3575? Y'all should know, right? 35, 3575, uh, it should be 36, $1.36. Did we get there? Did it, what happened? Did I not hit the dollar 36? There we go. And this is where we took profit at, dollar thirty six. So now, what is price doing now? Man, I want to hit that buy so bad right here though. I know we, hey man, hey, I ain't telling y'all to hit buy, but that's up to y'all. But I know that we uh, we heading to a uh, thirty five seventy five. That's all I got to say. This this, and I don't trade on Sundays. I honestly don't. So I'm gonna have to pass this. But my indicators are showing me that this boy going to thirty five seventy five. So let me mark this up and I'm going to keep this marked up because this boy is hitting, going to hit that level. Now it can hit that level and wick out. So if you did take this buy, you definitely going to um, have to take profit here or move up your stop loss because it can pull one of these numbers on you and come right back down. And hopefully, you know what, hopefully um, because I didn't catch this move in the beginning, like I'm going to wait to see what it does at a dollar thirty five seventy five. And it could come down and make a make a, a floor here and come back up. But we hitting to that level. And I mark up this and send it to y'all. And then I will be out of y'all way. Um, come up here. Let me see. Could wick out. If it wick out, it can come back down here, build a floor. Let me zoom out. What did price do in the past? Came up here, came back down, built the floor here. Boom, I'm saying right here. So we don't need to we don't need to put that, but we definitely going up. And I'm thinking overall, because it's it's doing an upper trend, we're gonna come up here again. And you know I'm gonna call it out for my team. I got y'all. I'm watching GU all week. I ain't missing none of it. I'm definitely not going to chase it, but I'm not going to miss none of the, the, uh, the real moves. Um, do I have to have IML in order to trade? Um, the question is, do I have to have IML in, in, in order to trade? No, you do not have to have IML in order to trade. Um, I, but if you don't have IML and you're trying to trade, hmm, you're going to be trading alone. And it's going to be tough because you ain't going to have a team to ask questions. You ain't going to have nobody that's really knowledgeable, like a team leader. You know what I'm saying? To, to bounce ideas off of. You're going to be on your own trying to learn how to trade. And plus, IML give you videos. They give you, they give you the videos and the tools that you're going to get from a, 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 a college, like one of the Forex schools. You, you get that for like $178 a month. If you get swipe trades. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you need to be a part of IML if you really want to become a profitable trader fast. You can learn on your own, but you got to catch up because we like 30 years old. We like 20, 20 something between 20 and 30 years old. We behind. Like, we got to catch up. Because cats in a 28s, that's, that's making six figures. Like, I study four hours a day. When I joined IML, uh, Lydell, your name is Lydell. I studied four hours a day, two hours when I woke up, two hours before I went to bed. I had my notebook. I watched the videos over and over. Some videos I stayed on for one video for two weeks because I just couldn't get it and I had to master it. Like I was serious and that's why I'm profitable and got my team, help, help my team make money now. So because I joined IML and I had people that was above me, shout out to Curtis Cobain. He didn't want to taught me what I know. You see what I'm saying? I had a mentor. So you need a mentor. So that's what I that's my take on it. But try it on your own to see where you get. But you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be losing more money than making money. Um, that's my opinion though. Uh the, the question is what is my indicators? 
Um, man, you know what? I'm gonna keep a list of my videos. You gotta go on my YouTube channel. I can't do all that right now. My YouTube channel is J Take Profits. That's my YouTube channel, J Take Profits. And I got my whole indicator set up on that boy. J Take Profits. Um, like this. J Take Profits. Just like that. I'm gonna type it in here. Check it out. I got I even got my swipe trades video up on there. My uh swipe trade strategy. People have been killing it. Cause swipe trades win, but they lose sometimes. And if you can't take all the swipe trades, you're gonna actually like you might take the losing one. Like they killed it last week, but they lost four. Like, what if you took a big lot a big lot size, ten dollars a pip on that losing one? You could have blow, blown your account before you even made anything. So if you can't take all the swipe trades because you work then you need to learn my swipe trade strategy. What I learned was IML have a strategy for every tool that they have, but they don't have a strategy for swipe trades. And I had to come up with that boy for my team because my team, we have to make money. So check out that video. I put my YouTube name in the um, comments and I promise you it's going to add value to your trading career. I promise you. Um, so I'm finna send this boy to y'all, but this boy gonna go up to uh dollar thirty-five. Hopefully it's gonna come up that high. I'm not sure, but if it if it come around here and stall out, take profit, wait for the pullback, and if it and if it don't blow blow past this low, y'all. If this if this um upward movement, uh, this long uh, movement, don't when it come when it pulls back and it don't blow past this this floor. I mean this floor right here. If it don't come down and blow past this, we definitely going to go up. So what I want to do is pull out a trend line, and I want to put this. You know, you know what? This is how they do it. They do like this. This is how they do it. So if it don't blow past this. So I'm going to keep that marked up for y'all, and I'll be sharing on Facebook and in my group teams and everything. So let me send this to y'all. And I'm just giving y'all like, like, like right now, like be, between now and Wednesday, you can, you can make this trade that I'm giving you right now. So for sure, I got you. Uh, let me see. Let me type this in the chat. So get these links that I'm sending y'all. Cause once this call is done, you might not see me. Um, you want value hop on during our London sessions. Hey, Andrew saying, if you want value, hop on to our London sessions. Um, Andrew, I think that London session is just for our team though. It's not for people that's not in our team. This weekly overview is for everybody. We want to help you guys, but if you're not a part of team to take profits, we can only help you so much because you we could, because we can't be cross recruiting. And you know what I'm saying? That's part of the iMarkers live thing. Like we can't be doing that. So we want to help you though, but if you really want to take part of getting all our trades and all that, you got to become part of Team Take Profits. Holler at me if you want to hop on the team. I got you. So that's all I can say about that. Hey, Greg, I'm going to hand it over to you. These are my markups, short-term markups. Um, let's see how they play out, man. I love you all. Let's make some money, baby. Peace. All right, all right, all right. Can you guys hear me very well? Yo, Jay, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, yeah, sir. Loud and clear. Let's get it. All right, cool. Because I'm on my hotspot um, at the hotel. So um, what's going on, guys? I know I haven't been uh, very active in the chat, so I apologize. I'm actually out in Mexico today. Um, so that's why I got the free time to hop on uh, this call. But I want to go ahead and share my screen and show you guys um, a few pairs. I went ahead and marked up UJ and AUD USD, um, and then I'll hand it over to Dr. Bacon uh, to let him show his pairs as well. So I appreciate you guys hopping on. So give me one second, let me share my screen. Uh, Jay, it says it's disabled for me, bro. Um, so what's disabled for you, to share your screen? Yes, sir. Okay, I gotta, um, we gotta get better at this. Let me see here. Let me hook you up. Uh, what What's your name on here? Uh, it's probably under trade and get paid. Okay. I made you the host. 
Hey y'all, um, so I got word that GU is the dollar gonna be weakening. So I gave y'all a trade setup um on my trade. So you know it, it, I de it definitely gonna go up to the to the 3575. But if it reverses, let's catch that boy. Thank you. All right. Be watching. All right. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, sir. All right. So um Real quick, guys. Uh, I'm all, I know this is on the hour. Real quick, let me switch to the day. Move this other way. All right, guys. So I trade a little bit um, like Jay does himself. Uh, I trade off quarter points, minor and major. That simply just means areas in the market where it's heavy reversals. Um, so you got 250 pips for every minor and you got every thousand uh, for the major. So for my major um, major quarter points and my minor quarter points for 80 USD, um, for every thousand pips, it'd just be at 0 0.70 and 0 0.80. Now in between that, there's obviously going to be not only the QP minors, every 250 pips, but also um, that's where you're going to catch your uh, smaller support and resistance levels. Now, after I have those marked up uh, for my QP major and minors, because usually you got to go the day, if not the week, um, AD USD is a small moving pair, so you may have to go on the week just to see them. Um, but then after that, I will go right to the four hour, just like Jay does. But I got to get this file. Um, I'll go right to the four hour. And I'll simply just do exactly what Jay does with the support and resistance levels. Um, now on here, obviously you have uh, some QP minors, QP majors, um, but down here is where you had your smaller support resistance levels, right? So you had your one bounce and then it obviously broke here and it was just consolidating, not doing much. Uh, so we just waited till it either broke down here and retested or it broke up here and retested this area. Right, so we were just looking for a newfound support or a newfound resistance. And as you can see, it obviously like dropped really hard, came down here and retested under this trend line. Right, when it retested under that trend line, that was our second bounce. And we were confirmed um, that it's going not only on a downtrend, but you're gonna be able to catch this retest most likely on this newfound support. Right, because it already broke, or newfound resistance, sorry, because it already broke this support and now it's about to retest right here. So on the four hour, you can barely see the retest, but on the hour, I believe you'd just be able to see it right away. All right, so right here, you got a retest of this trend line. Okay, it broke, came back, retested, closed right under again. That was our sell area. And then you got your second entry when it came down here and broke and retested as your newfound resistance. Okay, this confirms that the downtrend is still valid. And now we're simply just selling off. And what I like to do is when I go to sell, um, I like to keep not only my stop loss pretty tight, so I'll put it right above this trend line again, um, but I'll also put my take profit at the next support level if I'm selling. If, uh, if I'm buying, it'll be at the next resistance level, right? For at least TP1. Um, and then TP2, you can just either do a trailing stop or you can simply just put it exactly where your um, take profit one is. I don't like to go too far in my take profits unless I'm swinging. Um, and if you are swinging, make sure you're using very, very good risk management because you might be in that trade all week, especially being an AUD USD pair. Okay, so obviously right here, um, we had a sell right here. We're gonna go ahead and mark this up real quick, short position. So our entry would've been here, stop loss would've been up here. Okay, that would've been a 15 pip stop loss, which is really, really good. And then your next support level is right here, because you look left. And this was your next area where it kept bouncing off of, right? But you want to highlight that entire area and that entire zone so that way you can be confirmed of where it could wick and possibly not get to, right? Just to cover you a little bit. So you were going for about 93 pips. This obviously took quite a while. 
uh, being an AED USD pair, as this pair does move pretty slow, but uh, you're able to get 93 pips and you only risk about 15 pips. Okay, so if you are new on two flags, this is a pair I actually started out on. I started on UJ and I started on AED USD. Because those are two pairs that you can tell when to get in and out of the market without losing a lot of money, right? And you are able to turn it from a loss into a lesson because you know exactly when to get back into the market and when to stay out of it, right? Because the pair doesn't move as fast as other pairs unless news comes out, okay? So that's going to be your AU pair. I'll send this markup um, in there as well. You want to sell it? Yeah, you're just putting a forex and chill or what? Or forex trade setups? I think you're muted, bro. He uh, was just putting in the TGP in the, the chat put it in. for uh, our recording. Yeah, yep. So put it in the, uh, in the recording because everybody ain't in our, uh, on our team on this call. So we okay. want to make sure that they getting paid too. All right, so that one's in there. Let's go to UJ real quick, and then I'll hand it off to Dr. Bacon because I've actually got to um, go to the dinner before it closes. All right, so UJ, I absolutely like love this pair lately. Uh, this and EU, I was going to mark up EU, but Jay's got that covered for sure. Um, so real quick, I'm doing the same thing with all my pairs. Um, I'm starting on the daily or the weekly, whichever one you can see, the QP minors and majors, you just gotta simply look and see where the thousand pips are. It's gonna be different for every pair. So for UJ, um, it's gonna be 110, and it's gonna be 120 uh, for the QP majors, and or for the, yeah, for the QP majors, right? So you got your 100, your 110, and your 120, and then you can obviously see from going from here to here, there's your thousand pips, right? Just to confirm it. And then you got your 250, 250, 250 in between your majors, okay? Now that you have that marked up, I'll go right to the four hour, and you'll simply look for not only your trend line, but maybe your smaller um, support areas, okay? This one I left, um, I left blank other than the QP majors and minors, so we can find our ceiling and floor between those areas, okay? Obviously this one right here, it already tested this QP major and it bounced off the trend line the third time, okay? Actually four times right here. Um, when this retested, this retested not only the, the resistance, um, but it was a heavy resistance of a thousand, the a thousand pip move. And I see this going, um, if it can break this area right here. I'm gonna go to mark that real quick. If it can break this area and retest, I wanna see a retest here, and then it'll break all the way down here at least, okay? And it'll go right to that QP, uh, that other QP minor. Now, the reason I want to see it break this is because we don't want to have this big of a drawdown, right? If you get it now, you could have a major drawdown. It could bounce off this trend line again, and then it could fall, right? So you could already be up completely negative, get out because you got scared, and you had such a big drawdown, and then it finally drops, right? That's why since it already dropped on Friday, we want to simply wait for this to make its final move and confirm that this is actually going to continue down from this major quarter point, right? If it can break this area, then we can simply keep our stop loss very minimal. And we'll go down here, move this down. Move it to about 35 pips, okay? And then 
This would be your take proper right down here, which would be about 140 pips. Okay, now the reason I'm going for the 140, um, that's not going to be in my TP1. My TP1 is always a support right in between those, just to be, just to be safe. Um, so that'll be it right there. So that's about, I want to say, still about 44 pips. Okay. So your risk reward is really good for TP2. Um, TP1, it's all right, but you just want to be safe. Unless you're simply going to here, then you just want to make sure you look when it gets to this point, if it's going to bounce and reverse, or if it's going to actually continue all the way down. With these QP minors and majors, um, they do eventually get to that area. Uh, so make sure you do keep an eye on it, because if you do get out at TP1, it probably will eventually retest and continue and finish dropping off to that next QP minor um, or to the next one. I've seen it go 1,000, I've seen it go uh, 500. So right here, for example, this one retested this area and it came all the way up to the QP major after it broke the other ones and that was 500 pips, right? But we were able to get out during the whole area, right? So you're able to get out there, you're able to get out this resistance, you're able to get out actually right at where this line is too, and these uh, blue areas as well. So those zones secured the bag for you all the way up, um, and you were able to just catch the retest every single time. So let's see, let's do a trend line real quick, and then I hand it off to Baker. Um, right here. Okay, so Ray when uh, right when you got out, it TP'd right here. You didn't have any of this drawdown or this pullback. Okay, you already took profit. Now you're just waiting for it to what? Now you're waiting for it to retest again, either here or over here on this trend line, which it did. It retested right here. You got back in, you had zero drawdown, and it came all the way back up to either TP1 or the TP2 and three area way up here. Okay, so again, you had zero drawdown and you were able to get in and have 70 pips here, 136 pips here, and about 300 at QP major, okay? So the whole way you were just basically using a trailing stop all the way up, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the web analyzer, um, but if you use that, you're used to, the, used to the trailing stop on just moving it yourself all the way up. If you have MetaTrader, you can use it on MetaTrader as well. But you can only do it on your computer. Um, so somebody on your team can definitely show you that, or I can as well. Um, but I'm going to hand this off to Dr. Bacon. I'm going to share this screenshot right now. We're going to delete these two lines. Hey, but, hey, this is your boy Jay Wayne, man. That that markup looked like a beast, though. Like, is y'all understanding that? Like, like if you do, you, basically it all comes down to how you mark up your your support and resistance. Because if you can mark it up right, and this is simple, like just mark it up. The support, the support and resistance, like price respect at those levels. And you can see, go go over there where the big circle is. Go to the right. To that big circle at the top. That's right here. Yeah, so you see how he had, how he marked that up? It was easy for him to take that sale at the top. It was easy for you to ride that back up to the uh you know what I'm saying? Write that up to the top of the uh, support line up there where that big circle is circled at. Like, if you got it marked up, like, it's easy at that point. Now, go down to where you see the, the move is about to happen if it break through the bottom. So, like, walk me, let me walk you through that. Like, because I don't think that the people understand. Like, some people is brand new. Like, like it, he waiting for that boy to pass that line, that trend line, right? Go ahead and touch yeah. it right there where price is. Go up. Right there. So he waiting for that, for that, for them, them red candles to drop through that trend line. That's for the sale, though. For the sale. Yep. And on this pullback, this not only confirmed that it was below resistance and a trend line, but you also have a double top right here. Oh, look okay? at that. You have a double top right here. So at least you know it's going to finish off this M, right? Some of you may not know what that is. Uh, but in the market, sometimes it does create an M, and then when it finishes that M, that can be either your take profit or it could break and continue all the way go. down. There we go. 
Yes, sir. So just that simple. Like we we like we don't we can't predict these markets. Like we don't we don't really predict it, but we set it up. We trap price in a sense. Like we trap it. Like these candles, we trap it. And to the point where it only has to do, it can only do two things. It could break it to the top, or it could break to the bottom, or it could just go sideways. If it goes sideways, we ain't gonna mess with it. You feel me? But if it breaks to the top, we we saw it. We saw it happen. If it break below, we gonna catch that sale. Either way, we ready. And that's how you want to set it up, y'all. And Dr. Bacon, I'm looking for an overall uh, buy on AED USD. I wait. I'm waiting for it to break and go long. Same with Euro USD and same with GBP USD all week. Absolutely. Same. Same with as my mark outs. What you guys are about to see? Are you done, Greg? Yes, sir. I'm all gonna right. hand it over to you. Give me one sec. Stop sharing. You want to make him host, bro? Um, uh, you can. All right. Let me see. Let me see if I can share real quick. You go. On, yeah, you go on with your bare naked. I can share. There. Yeah, I just turned on uh, multiple participants, so that works. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I hope everybody having a fantastic day. I hope everybody enjoying this Mother's Day. I'm not going to behold you long, and I'm just going to go show you guys a few pairs that I'm looking at for the week, overall for the week. Um, I know Greg and Jay Wayne, they killed it. I'm looking at some of their setups. I'm ready to jump in uh, Jay Wayne, GU right now. <laughs> no, but I don't trade on Sundays, so that's not going to work. But uh, I think I'm going to start off with uh, – I think I'm going to start off with uh, AC. Uh, we're starting off with AC because we talked about the Aussie uh, USD that Greg talked about, and I'm looking at for overall buys for um, anything that got USD in the quote because I think that dollar is going to get weak real soon because it had a bullish move, and I'm looking for that to come down and fall down real soon. So I'm really hoping for that uh, United States dollar to come on down and get us our money back on some of these pairs. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in for y'all on this Aussie cat. This is following my strategy perfectly. Um, on my, my little 20, 30, 40 strategy that you guys don't know about, but it's following my rules perfectly. Um, I trade off the highs and lows of pairs. So as we can see that Aussie had this down pool movement, it was, it was getting really weak. And it, it got really, really weak. It came all the way down from the top, all the way to the bottom. So all you got to do is look left, and you see that price didn't come into this, this amount until like six months ago, six months to a year ago, and I'm scrolling left. So we look at this date right here. Price got down here all the way May 26, almost a year ago, like literally almost one whole year ago. So really, we know that price never came down to that point for a very, very long time. And all this is simple. This is simple uh, stuff we're teaching on. Look, this is a support resistance. These are supply and demand zones that I just got marked up for y'all. So basically, what I'm waiting for this pair to do is go up, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more for y'all real quick on this little part right here. All I'm looking for price to do is either. Touch this line, which is uh, about, and let me move this over for you guys, which is about 09711. And I either wanted to come up here, come back down and retest, and then shoot back up, or it may give me a retest during a, during a Sunday market, because the Sunday the move the market is moving a little bit slower. So I'm expecting that price to either come back down now and go all the way back up, or I want the, the retest, because I think the Aussie is really about to get strong as well. That's why we got Aussie USD going for a strong buy. That's why we got uh, – and another one, you're all, I'm going for a strong sell on this. I'm about to go for it. I'm going to show y'all why. But really, this all this is, is uh, after engulfing come down and engulfing back out. So we know that this is strong uh, supply uh, demand zone. I apologize for that. And we wait, we're waiting for price to either come up, touch this, this resistance, and come back down and get out and break out. So this, this is one of the pairs that I'm really going to be watching. I might put out a lot of trade for the team on this, um, depending on how busy my week is and, and – how much time I'm looking into the market, but I really don't want to miss none of these moves this week because I think it's going to be a really good week in the market. Last week we missed a lot of major moves, and I didn't think that was uh, fair for our team because we, we really need you. We really want to make everybody make some money. So definitely going to be watching the market way more than last week. Um, so for this overall move, again, Aussie CAD, I'm looking for a strong buy on this, a strong buy. So either we're going to get the retest up here, and then, yeah, even if we get the retest up here, we look for the sell on a down, or even if we get the retest on the, the support down here, we can get for the strong buy. So I'm going to be watching this and seeing what this is going to do. I'm thinking it, it since the stochastic, I'll trade off the stochastic. I think the stochastic in a four hours above, above that 80. I'm looking for it to come down right now and touch this support line and shoot right back up. So that's one of the pairs that I'm focused on for this week. And then I'm also going to Euro all. Remember, 
sense, all is in a base right here in this pair. I'm looking for a buy. So if all is in a quote in this pair, I'm looking for a sell. I'm gonna show y'all show y'all why I'm looking for a sell. This was uh one of my favorite pairs I traded off of when I went on a 110 trade streak right here in this little mixture right here. This is what Jay was talking about, easy, uh, easy money with that consolidation. Remember, this is a four hour time frame. So we we're looking at this like from here, and I was catching this all day. From here to here, look at that, 160 pips. And it did it more than once. It did it like, like 10 days in a row. This is four hours. So it went up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So every six candles is a, a day, because we know this is a four hour chart. Let's just zoom in a little bit more on this part. But that's way more than six candles. Yeah. So it's up and down, up and down. This is just consolidation. This is easy, just a support and resistance line. That's what Jay was talking about. As long as you know how to draw a support and resistance line, you, you was eating barbecue chicken. That's all day. So look, remember I said I'm looking for a sell on this. The only reason I'm looking for a sell for this is I'm looking for it to break this support line, make it resistance, and come back and play in this same zone. The same zone that it, it had a hard time stutter stepping in, yeah, it had a hard time right here, stutter stepping. It couldn't get, couldn't get in, couldn't get out until it finally broke out. And then guess what? Price came all the way back up here, came back down, and it did it again. Went up, shot right back down, and then it came right back out of it again. So I'm looking for price again. Aussie is in that quote. So I'm looking for a price to come down, get the bid sell. Price has to break this resistance though. If price don't break this resistance, like the same thing, let's go back to all you got. If price doesn't break this support, it's going back up. If it does, if it breaks this, it's going to continue going up. Again, all the euro all. Hold on. Euro all. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting price to come straight down, break this, get the retest. You always want to get the retest. And then, I, I'm not a really good charter because I don't chart. But let me see, I, I think they, uh, what they do is they draw like trend lines, right? So we want price to come down, retest, or we want to price to come down, break it. Once it breaks, then we want to get the retest. The retest, bam, get the retest and price will continue to come down. Come down and play to this zone right here. That's exactly what we're looking for on this, on this pair right now. And if price doesn't, we can see price come up here, get the retest again up here and then come back down. So that's what I'm looking for on this weekly um, outlook of these couple pairs. We got a couple Aussie news that I know for sure that I watch out for. Uh, we got the monetary policy statement coming out. That's a big folder for Aussie. And then we got the uh, unemployment claims and unemployment rates. So we can easily see that price could easily come down and break this because when, when, we, when we see something that's hard and that can't be broken in the past, usually it's the news that engulfs past this line. So we can get the breakout and continue to break down and get, get come back into this zone. So we can, and, and if price come back in this zone, we're gonna eat all day. I'm telling y'all, this is barbecue chicken right here for us. I'm talking about everybody account gonna be triple if, this, if price come into this zone. I'm, I'm positive for y'all. So put this- that chat. Huh? Put that, put that screenshot that boy in the chat. I, I will, I will. I'll make sure I put this in the chat for y'all. Uh, but this is this is what I'm really this is my major major pair for the week and I I I, uh, I think Jay liked that setup because he said make sure you put that in the chat so <laughs> we we gonna definitely eat off of this thing and I, I I ain't gonna keep y'all long like I said but I uh, just wanted to show y'all two pairs that I got set up for the week um, I'm also looking at GA and I, I ain't gonna talk too much about this but again all in that quote so I'm looking for GA to hopefully break this I remember last week we got on or the week before that we was hoping that. Um, GA wasn't go back and pass this high, but it looked like um, GBP pairs got weakened um, over the weeks. Uh, I mean, over the week, the last two weeks that we had. So maybe we could potentially see GA come back down into this zone over here. And I'm gonna grab a support line and show y'all what zone I'm talking about. So we can potentially see GA come somewhere around here if it breaks this. So that's all I got for y'all this week and we're definitely gonna be on it uh, I, I know we're gonna be on it this week and we can get some live trades in and i'm gonna drop this in the chat for uh jay wayne and the team i'm gonna drop all these trades set up in the chat and then um let me uh ask you jay how you do it uh you want to hit that little um picture oh, right here yeah it's somewhere at the bottom it's like a little oh. picture oh yeah, yeah your camera yeah okay hit the little camera. Right. and then copy and paste this Yup, copy and paste right. and drop that boy in the um, link because a lot of people ain't on here ain't, ain't on our team, but but we know you we want them to eat too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, we'll drop that in the chat for y'all. But that's it. That's all I got for y'all. 
Jay Wayne, I appreciate you. I appreciate, you know, Greg, even though he stole my pair, but it's all good. We we like to have fun. We're just having fun. And uh, I'm going to give it back to my man, Jay Wayne, so he can close it out. And uh, thank you guys for listening, and peace out. Hey, yeah, so it's an honor to have Dr. Bacon on the squad, man. We call him Dr. Bacon because he a doctor on these charts. He be operating. So um, my man is a beast. So I'm telling you, like, hey, he mark up a chart. Like, I need that. <laughs> so, uh, hey, we, we was able to get this whole thing down, Pack, in one hour. That's how we want to do it. I appreciate y'all for joining. Um, Right now, like, if you got a quick question or something to clear up, like, ask it now because uh, we done. So I want to open the floor up for you for like a quick quick second, and uh, I could touch on something real quick. If not, we we'll close out. So I just you know wait for y'all if y'all got something to say or ask. Um, so definitely um you know I'm dropping this uh, video right here on my YouTube channel in about an hour. As soon as this get done rendering, I'm dropping it on my YouTube channel. J J Take Profits, and you'll be able to rewatch these, these setups. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Adam. Go ahead, Adam. I have a question, Jay. I recently, um, I had this, uh, I was watching the videos, you know, the tutorials and everything, and I had this revelation of how everything works. 